Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. So this is our new, to us, uh, it's a Bayliner Sierra 245. It's a 24 and a half foot uh, Bayliner with a 5 liter Merc inboard. Putting out 260 horsepower with a Mercury uh, Bravo 3 outdrive. The hull is impeccable. Has a uh, Venture trailer, dual axle trailer. With the uh, Bravo 3, it has the uh, dual prop, counter rotating. The only thing we want to clean up is get some of these old residue from the barnacles off the outdrive. Has a full enclosure. What I want to do is uh, we're going to snow foam the boat. The uh, hull is actually in really good shape. It looks like it's been recently waxed, but we'll apply a new coat of wax on it to freshen it up. So this is going to be a video series on this uh, boat. Um, first episode is going to be uh, just giving the exterior a good uh, wash. And then the next one will be, uh, we'll do a detailed interior overview of the boat. Hopefully this will be in the water in the next week or so. We're just waiting on uh, the five anoids for the outdrive. And again, needs a nice uh, coat of wax on her. We're going to be using our snow foam cannon. I've done a couple of videos on this pressure washer. It's a Husqvarna PW3200. So that's what we're going to be using to uh, spray the exterior of the boat down. So without further ado, let's uh, get to work. So the soap I'm using is uh, made by Chemical Guys. It's a pH uh, neutral soap, so it doesn't remove any wax. You can see how thick the soap is when it comes out of the uh, snow foam cannon. Now I'm spraying the trailer too, just if there's any uh, residual uh, salt or whatnot on it from over the years. But literally the foam's probably a quarter inch thick so I'm going to uh, let this soak in for a few minutes and then we'll uh, get her sprayed off. All right so we let the uh, soap sit for a little bit and I used a clean wash bit and we uh, washed down all the uh, fiberglass so we'll uh, get her all sprayed off next with the uh, pressure washer. Also don't forget to uh, do your trailer and your rims.
like to mention too when you're uh, washing your boat I always spray down the uh, tubing for your trailer tilt your trailer so it's a little higher in the front and that will flush any debris that gets stuck in your trailer even if it's fresh water you want to make sure you don't have a whole bunch of salt water or residue sitting in your uh, trailer frame so again you put it on an angle and you'll see it dripping out there it was coming out on a steady uh, stream there when I uh, had the garden hose in it I was able to get a little bit of the barnacles the residue off you can see there's still some there off the outdrive with the pressure washer just be careful when you're pressure washing you don't want to hit your right there and there we go so this is the uh, first episode uh, next one we'll do a little uh, tour of the interior we'll check out the engine so what's uh, left on this again before it goes in the water is we need to replace the anoids on the outdrive coat of wax we'll go over all the fluids make sure everything's fine the oil filter was done before we had bought it and then we'll uh, hopefully do a nice video series on it on uh, maintenance taking it out and seeing how it works launching it winterizing it so make sure you uh, hit the subscribe there and uh, follow along on the journey and also if you have any tips or suggestions for me uh, make sure you post them below if not thanks for watching and make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like what you're watching there take care